So today we are on Sentosa Island. Come with us as we explore the island. We are Kylie, Casper and Ella, an Aussie Danish family who loves traveling the world and exploring new countries. If you would like to follow us on our journey, make sure to subscribe to our channel and follow us on Instagram so you don't miss out on any of our adventures. So we are off to Sentosa Island today. Super excited. So we're about to go and catch the MRT and we have to make a quick stop at Otterham Park and then we connect to the next MRT which takes us straight to Vivo City and then we're catching a cable car right across to the island. So an exciting day ahead. We're just on our way up to the cable car that takes you over to Sentosa Island. So you have to walk quite a while uh, from the station over to the cable car. But instead of walking along the harbour front, which is obviously a nice view, you can just walk through the shopping centre. So that's nice and air conditioned. Kitty Winky, would you like to go to Kitty Winky, Ella? No, thank you. Why not? I'll take the cable car. You're still a kid though. Yeah. But no, I'm gonna hold this. Look at all the um, construction out there. There's apartments as well. There's a harbour. Oh my gosh. So it only takes about five minutes to get across, but it's some amazing views. We are on our second cable car for today. We're heading up to the Merlion, and gee, these cable cars are hot. So no air conditioning, just the few windows open. And for those Jim Carrey fans, you'll know what I mean when I say, it's hot in these rhinos. <laughs> kind of hot in these rhinos. Okay, so we're now on our third cable car of the day. We just head down to the Merlion station, but unfortunately that whole area has been demolished, which is a bit of a bummer. So not really much for us to see at that station. So now we're heading down to Soloso Point. Not sure what we'll see there. I think there's a beach and some activities and probably a nice view. So we'll see what we can see from there. And our first stop before we do anything here at Santorisa is to refuel with some coconut ice cream and some coconut water. I'm looking forward to it. It looks absolutely delicious. Full on squat. Uh, Don't break it. Oh. Don't break it. I knew I was going to get up from here. Hey, <laughs> <Okay. laughs> cheers. <laughs> Served in a cup here, not in a coconut, but they still taste the same. It's really nice and sweet and refreshing. It's very, very delicious. And it has like fresh coconut pieces down here as well. Mmm. <laughs> How you going there, Casper? <laughs> That's really attractive. I like eating spaghetti. <laughs> It's starting to look pretty dark and pretty windy, so I reckon we're gonna get some rain in the moment. We also feel like we're the only people in Sentosa Island. Maybe it's a bit too early. It's 12 o'clock midday, but there's like no people around. It's absolutely deserted. Very strange, very odd. I don't know where the people are. Where so, are the people? I don't know, maybe they come later in the afternoon. I'm not oh, sure. Right there. Oh, oh, there's a person. Oh no, I think oh, he yeah. works here. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, so it's a Tuesday, we should probably say too. Maybe it's more lively here in the weekends, but uh, let's see what happens later in the afternoon. As expected, it is raining. So we've found some shelter, uh, but it looks pretty wild and crazy out there. So I think it's only going to be a minute or so and it's going to be bucketing down. You can hardly see the ships out in the ocean. Like the visibility is just crazy. It actually looks very ghostly. You know, it almost reminds me a little bit of Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, our trip has taken a bit of an unexpected turn today, but I guess that's the tropics for you. You just never know what the weather is going to be like. So we started walking again because the rain was easing, um, but we only made it kind of 200 meters down the road and now it's pouring down again. So at the moment we are just stuck under cover at the entrance of a bathroom. <laughs> uh, wait for me. Okay, it is coming up to the iFly 
to see how much that is. Reviews online have been a bit mixed. Some people have said that you pay quite a lot of money and spend a lot of time and you only get about 45 seconds where you actually are skydiving. So let's go and have a look. So I've just got tickets for the iFly, so that should be really exciting. So it's kind of like going skydiving. So you could either get a ticket that only gives you 45 seconds in the air, uh, that costs $89, or you could pay $160, which is what I did, and it gives you uh, six times 45 seconds in the air. So I'm really looking forward to this. So it comes with like training for 20 minutes to 30 minutes. It's really, really exciting, looking forward to it. I've always loved a man in uniform. <laughs> So even though you're only in the wind tunnel for about 45 seconds, it's still the equivalent of skydiving all the way from 4,000 feet down to 3,000 feet. So basically a drop of three kilometers. That looks like so much fun. Oh my god. Really, really funny. <laughs> I actually think I'm gonna be sore in my muscles. Oh really? Yeah, I think the 45 seconds is kind of enough, and then having a little break, I can feel it. I don't feel like I need to do a bit stress, just like when you're a bit to the gym, there's a bit more. <laughs> but it's really, really funny, especially going up high. It was actually kind of hard work, so I'm glad that it was only 45 seconds at a time for those six times I did it. Uh, I actually feel quite sore in my arms, my neck, my back, my leg muscles. So I feel like I've done a, like a massive workout basically. So I'll definitely recommend doing the six flights. One flight is just not enough, neither is two. So at the end, you had the option to add an extra flight where you go with an instructor and fly really high as well and spin around. And that was a lot of fun. That was an extra $40. Uh, but uh, yeah, it was worth it. I really enjoyed it. I had a ball. It's still raining. It's been raining now for three hours. Not the best day, I guess, but uh, it certainly made up for it going to iFly and have fun there. So we are down at Tanjong Beach. It has just been raining for a few hours, but still it's very, very quiet here on Sentosa Island in general. Also, there are a lot of restaurants, cafes, uh, activities that's actually closed or under construction at the moment. So I can't say Sentosa really has the, the best vibe at the moment. Maybe in the years to come it will be a nice place again, but uh, it's not what I kind of remembered Sentosa to be from previous visits. So it is still raining. Why is it raining? We're still making the most out of it, I suppose. Um, Casper obviously had a wonderful time at iFly. I did indeed. So, <laughs> glad, so glad someone had some fun. <laughs> so we've headed over to the Russa Sentosa Resort, which is by Shangri-La. So we're gonna go and see if there's something here to eat because most of the places on the island are closed today. Not completely sure if it's just because of the weather. I actually suspect that it's also just closed. I really don't think tourism has really got back to normal here yet. There's also a lot of construction going on and things just look a bit run down and haven't really had a lot of maintenance probably I'd say in a few years. So even some of the restaurants just look like they've just been left, unfortunately. 
So not really a lot of places to eat. So I'm hoping we can find something here at this one because we're hungry. It's gonna be good to <laughs> eat something, just nice sitting down, relaxing and not being rained on at the moment. Ella, would you swim in the water in Sentosa? I mean, it depends because there's lots and lots of boats up there. So we're kind of thinking that's a bit polluted and the water, I mean, we didn't get to have like a great look, but it might not be so clear and fresh. So maybe, maybe not, not sure. Would you come back to Sentosa again? Not before they have finished all their renovations and updates because it does look a bit like a construction site. Even our first impression was to go to the uh, Mer Lion and we were told, yeah, that's been completely demolished because that was actually a really nice area that we went to years back. That was kind of our first impression, but after that we had just seen construction site after construction site. So just a lot of things looks a bit worn down, so I guess it probably needs a renovation, but obviously it's not that great as a tourist to come and see that. So probably, yeah, he likes a bit of atmosphere here because of that. I would probably wait a few years to see what happens to St. Sosa then I would uh, stay in the city and just see some of the, the different sites you can see in the city instead. Stop! That was so mean! Come on, let's have a coconut drink. I was trying to smuggle coconut water onto the gondola. <laughs> it's splashing. <laughs> Thank you, bye. Smuggle successful. Thank you so much for watching. We really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like it and subscribe to our channel.